the thing on that match they wanted me to do, it was to sell the collapse of the ring. Like, and they the way I did it, which I don't know what I did. I just did what I had to do because it was actually pretty freaking cool. I'd never been in the ring with a collapse before. Sure. So it was just like, they was like, because when they take the bump the, the suit all out of the corner, the ring collapses. They're selling. They're out like a light. I'm the one sitting up like, holy shit. Like, just what the hell happened, you know? And I remember them just screaming like, yes, yes, that's what we want. Yes. That's what you're hearing in your ear? Yeah. And I mean, it was just, and then the crowd's just, holy shit. Oh, you know, and and it was just like, it was just one of the moments. Like, it wasn't, the, the pop wasn't as big as Rock and Hogan, but yeah. <laughs> it was there. How it did, there. like logistically, how did they get the ring to collapse on that impact? Well, it's, it's, uh, they do a very good job. Mark Carpenter, which I'd worked for many years with going back, he's, he builds the rings for the WWE, which was WWF at the time. Um, so they did some kind of hydraulic thing to where, and it was like, they put bags underneath the ring to where it's, it's like airbags. And mm. it was just a hydraulic thing where they released the pressure and it just collapsed the ring. So it just, it pulled out the poles and so they didn't use the cables. There's crisscross cables that go underneath the ring on the bottom poles. Yeah. But they use something else to where that ring collapses. You know, they used hydraulics and stuff. It was some kind of hydraulic. I mean, it collapsed perfectly Perfect. on time too. Perfect. Yeah. Definitely. And this yeah. isn't something I imagine that you could have rehearsed before either. No, they did. I think they, we didn't rehearse it in the ring, but they did rehearse the ring collapse. They did re rehearse it before. Like that was, that was the iconic ring collapse. The ring has right. collapsed, you know, a handful of times since and people kind of go, eh, it's not the same as when it happened on, you know, SmackDown. First time ever done, right? I mean, yeah. so you gotta admit like, wow, like the things that they used to come up with were fantastic sometimes. I mean, you know, um, and it was just, uh, I mean, we didn't even finish the match. We didn't, you know, it was just like <laughs> the ring collapsed and just, and that was a moment of history. And, professional wrestling yeah so, yeah i was and it was great to be a part of that moment and if like and i remember michael hayes said you gotta sell this like you just it's never happened to you before i said yeah all right cool but when it did happen it was like what the fuck like what the hell holy shit like i think it just came natural because i just really couldn't practice that you know well your reaction was perfect it's exactly yeah. what you know should have happened i feel yeah. like yeah i didn't and there's, I guess there's times you can oversell or undersell, but I guess, I guess it was right down the middle to where they <laughs> sell it. So, you know, and I, I guess the focus was on me at that point. And that's what was going to be the focus on the referee, just sitting in the ring, looking around going, what the F just happened, you know? So yeah, it was a pretty cool moment, you know?